as we just said, elections were not held in 47 wards, affecting 69 polling units. So this gives us the margin of lead of 31,000. 249 31,249 and then the total number of PVCs collected in places where elections were not held amounts to 37,016 and based on this findings and analysis, as stated in the electoral law, where, where the number of PVCs collected in areas where elections did not Contest number one, election were held in all the 60 something polling units because there is a result and it was cancelled because of overvoting. Number two, we have already a substantial result. There is no reason why we will go back for another election again, except if Mr. President will now say there are two forms of law. He has given one instruction for another people and another law for Adama people, and he is not willing to be a man of his word. We want him to own up and be a man of his word and tell INEC to declare this result because he has already given his commitment to Nigerians that elections will be counted and it will be declared. Here we have done election, here results were collected, here results were, uh, were announced and results have been declared and the PDP have won election in Adamao State. The rest of the inconclusive. If there is inconclusive in some selected votes, for a local government, in tier for a local government should be included in the inconclusive because we don't know which result is genuine. We don't know. And you cannot download the result from a server of only one local government and allow the rest while there are a lot of complaints, including written complaint that we submitted here for them. So we want the, uh, the INEC to revisit this issue of Adamawa State, consider, for, uh, go through all the results, check the beavers before taking any decision. Welcome back. Well, uh, Mr. Amadou Fintiri, the governor of Adamawa State, is also governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party for Adamawa State. Uh, he's next on, on the program. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, see if we can get across to Mr. Fintiri because uh, the elections in Taraba State is inconclusive at the moment. Uh, in Adamawa State. Adamawa State? That's what I said, right? You said Taraba. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, my explain tricks on me now, <laughs> is it? Is. Well, yes, indeed, in Adamawa State. So, uh, trying to get across and find out uh, what the state is. Uh, this probably the state of mind. What are they thinking? What's likely going to happen? How are they going to approach all of this moving forward? So, uh, I guess the people of Adamawa will forgive you. They used to be brothers with the people of Taraba. Gongola State, right? the old Gongola State. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Um, very similar in terms of what we normally would see, but certainly the politics is a bit different now. Yeah. Uh, what has happened in the last couple of days, um, we had hoped that the, the elections would have been concluded uh, by now, but it looks like uh, there is a stalemate and uh, the elections has been declared inconclusive. So it will be interesting to get the perspective. Um, yeah. of one of the candidates who also happens to be the governor and, um, yeah, of the state. Exactly. And don't forget that, uh, remember all the, there were several narratives, really, mm -hmm. about that election. At some point, several people kept on saying, oh, it's been called. It, it went to uh, uh, the APC candidate. And then some others thought, 
whoa, I thought then when they saw the update from channels, I thought, wait a minute, I thought some people said they had already been called. So, yeah. And then you saw the former vice president and PDP presidential candidates also speaking, speaking strongly, yeah. saying INEC needed to declare the results, but it's inconclusive uh, at the moment. So those are uh, some of the issues we plan to raise with the governor and the candidate of the People's Democratic Party. So uh, I guess, can we go get across to the governor at this minute? All right, good morning, Your Excellency. Uh, can you hear us? I can hear you well. Good okay. Morning. All right, good to have you on. Well, there's been this uh, furore over furore local government area incidentally saying it's in the eye of the storm they're wondering that uh, what's going on some point accusing fingers at you your excellency saying you are the person who's trying to distort all of this what can you tell us about what's going on about the election or about Fufuri? all of that maybe you could start with the election before you go to the Fufuri. i think the election on the 18th started well calm peaceful across the state, and uh, not until uh, on the Sunday when they started uh, the election coalition. And some have even exceeded from the war with the local government. Then the APC started using Togri uh, uh, to snatch uh, uh, summary sheets. Uh, now referring to Fofori, at Fofore, which is the next uh, uh, local government to the state headquarters, uh, some talks of APC went in and snatched uh, the summary sheet for the local government coalition. And uh, after results has come in from all the wards, and uh, the PDP agent had to hold their ground until INEC itself uh sent back another summary sheet which election was collected uh under the escort of security agencies uh on arrival to the state coalition the uh rec who had been playing funny and putting us in muddy water uh said there are two uh, election results and when he was asked where is the other one he couldn't be point to it I believe he was trying to refer to the other one that was snatched, believing he must have filled a different result on it. When he couldn't find that one, he ordered that the uh, results should be downloaded from the Arab, and which they did, did their calculation, and which it corresponded with the one the, the, the EO brought, I mean, the, the returning officer. So where is filtering in this matter? And uh, she is the one leading in that local government. But when they discovered the difference was so huge, was so large that they could not cover from just one local government, they snatched the the the, the, call, uh, the summary sheet so that they can go and put uh, a result that could give them uh, can cover the difference for them. Uh, unfortunately, again, even from their own perspective of calculation, they put a result. Giving herself that seven thousand, giving me seven thousand in that local government. If you put it into the summary sheet of the entire state again, I'm still living with over three thousand. Uh, I think that is the where the mystic. Uh, so where is my name coming in now? Hmm. But Your Excellency, this information that you've given now about who snatched what. Yes, your chief security officer in the state. Is this information what you gathered from security agencies on the ground? And the and and, and the, the the snatching of the summary sheet was masterminded by the House of Reps elect from that constituency by name Honorable Boyer. They know him. The person who snatched the summary sheet has a house in Fofore. He has two wives. He has children. His address is known, but nothing was done. So, if I understand you correctly now. Uh, you are saying that the local government is no longer in contention because the results from the IREV, I mean, as given at different polling units, have been downloaded from that place. 
and the tabulation has already been done and they know who, who you know the results are, are clear for all to see as, as the case might be so what precisely has led to this inconclusive nature of elections in adamawa i think because of the inexperience and and and, and the mindset of the rec he misled the returning officer there was no need for it i was leading by over 35 31,000 in ogun uh, he led by 12,000 uh, issues in various uh, uh, units across the state was over 30,000, but a man was declared. The same thing with Kaduna. The same thing in several states, if you go around. And uh, he went and concocted uh, 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 some units or PUs that have already been concluded. For instance, if you go to Fufore, in Karlai precisely, a ward called Caroline. There's a PU003. Yes, there are 103 voters, uh, 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 registered voters in that unit. Uh, less than 30 voted that day, but it was over voting. It was cancelled. There's a PU00017. It was concluded. Even on RF, it was concluded. The result is there. There was no over voting, no issue. But if you check the list of uh, uh, PUs that he listed to the national headquarters as places that have issue, uh, that one is also included. So you begin to wonder what he is after. And this is the man that was caught on tape calling the, 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 the EO and the returning officer of Fofore that he is under instruction from above to help this woman. And nothing has happened to him. I think the man is with the integrity, with the kind of capacity the, 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 the INEC has, has built over the years. I think they shouldn't allow such a man to continue. Are you talking about the resident electoral commissioner or you're talking about the returning officer? The, the resident electoral commissioner precisely. Have you had any, um, ish, any reason to doubt him before now? Well, he, he is new, so I have never met him in contact. I've never interacted with him, but I believe uh, he should have been, uh, with his pedigree of being a lawyer of long years, I expected him to, to, to exhibit uh, uh, a lot more integrity. But I think the man who uh, was bought in uh, is on record uh, that even on, on after the election, precisely on Sunday night, uh, the woman and, 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 and her husband uh, escorted by the former admin secretary who has retired five days after presidential election, were in his house for three hours, asking uh, what he should do for them at the coalition. The man was confused. You can see him making calls up and down. Every second he was making calls, leaving. He is calling Abuja. He is calling people from above. You, you, sure you, you, he... Your Excellency, I think it's very important to state that, you know, these things are allegations. I mean, when you say that they're, they were in his house and they were teaching him what to do, um, I'll have to ask if you were there. They, they are not allegations. Can he deny them? Has he denied it they, where we caught him on tape? Uh, instructing his uh, EO and the return officer in Fufuri that he's under instruction from above to help the woman. Okay, so no let, let me ask you, I mean, because this is not the first time we're saying... And, 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 he was, and he was confronted by, 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 by journalists, including your, your team. He couldn't deny it. He really agreed that, yes, he did a call, and he gave that instruction. Okay, so let me ask you, I mean, about inconclusive elections. I mean, you were once a, a lawmaker, a former speaker, so I know you also know about the laws, um, you know, of our land, and you know the laws of Adamawa, as the case might be, but these ones are electoral laws. I, I imagine that you would have taken an interest um, in the Electoral Act when it was passed in, in 2022. So let me ask you about inconclusive elections. We, we've seen them before. We saw them in Osho, we've seen them in Kano, we've seen them in a number of states, and we know that it happens when the number of cancelled votes is more than the difference between the person who is leading and the person who is next. They say that, I mean, if votes or is this poor ballot papers? Now, I'm not, I'm not very sure of the exact term. Um, but if the, if the number of those votes are more than the difference between the leading and the runner-up, then those elections will be declared inconclusive so that they can conduct fresh elections in those places and determine the winner. 
Is that what INEC is suggesting will happen here? Will there be another, another set of elections? Or what precisely are they saying is the way out? What they are suggesting, that there will be election in 66, uh, 69 PUs. I'm not against that. And we are waiting for them to give us a date and come and conduct the election. But what we are saying here is that some of these PUs are not cancelled. They are on the area. But the resident electoral commissioner has also included it so that you make the number look so large to convince the world that really the, 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 the difference of vote between the first and the second candidate and the inconcluded is so large that they have, we have to go for a run. I'm also not new in, 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 in inconclusive election. In 2019, I went to inconclusive election and I won eventually. Okay. But we are talking. We are talking about the integrity of the rec. Okay. So what you are suggesting, because we also saw that this situation came up in Abia State, mm -hmm. uh, we were made to understand yesterday that when a particular local government was in contention, uh, the I think they asked for the results at the headquarters. They were able to download everything and they went through it one after the other, and they were able to determine that. Uh, would you also be open to that sort of intervention, or is that sort of intervention already ongoing in Adamawa? That has been concluded. We are waiting for them to come and conduct election, real election in the 66 unit. And uh, we're not against that. We're not averse to that. But what we are saying is, let it be done transparently. Let it be done in accordance with the with the Act and, and, and the guidelines of... Uh, of uh, uh, INA. That's all. Well, security, there were reports that security agencies stormed PDP situation room alleging ballot stuffing. What happened in that case? The scheming by the REC. I'm wondering if, if we couldn't complain that the candidate of APC was the one who printed ballot papers and sensitive materials for INA, which INA also did not deny. The only thing they could state in their statement in their press release was that she was her name was not included in the company as a director and we went and we searched from a uh, corporate affairs commission she's actually a director in 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 in, in, in that company and uh, they came to our situation room that there was ballot stuffing we kept sensitive materials how would you have come about sensitive materials in the situation room uh they made a search and nothing was found except our laptops and and the, the materials that are needed to 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 to, to uh, i mean uh, uh, control situations of the elections and monitor across the state and uh, they they did write a report that really they searched and they couldn't find anything uh incriminating and uh, and they left and 14 of them signed so they were all hatched by 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 the rec and the candidate Let's bring in our colleagues from Lagos. Right, thanks, Chamberlain. Uh, well, uh, Governor Frontier, what's playing out in Adamawa State is quite intriguing. And um, if you say that um, some of those polling units where uh, or elections are meant to be reconducted, uh, that those results are on the IREV. And, and I heard, I think it was a PDP's agent saying that, well, where there's overvoting, it should be zero and the elections should not be reconducted. So that's another case uh, also. So uh, from your own, the figures you have from your situation room, uh, what do you think should have been done? How many polling units, I know it's across 47 wards, uh, should this uh, rerun or the supplementary election happen? Uh, let's put aside where election was cancelled, it should be zero. We don't expect elections again to go and be reconducted in those areas. But we have a whole complete war in, 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 in Numan local government, in Bulky, precisely, where the election was not conducted. And by INA guidelines, election ought to have gone to be conducted the following day, which was Sunday. And there are 7,500 uh, 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 registered voters and PVC collected in that world. If they have gone the following day on Sunday for to go and conduct election in that in that uh, uh, particular world, I don't think this issue will have arise. But because the 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 direct was was playing games, 
which is known to everybody. Uh, he refused to go and conduct election in that uh, uh, in that uh, particular uh, ward in that in human local government where election could not hold because of uh, late arrival of materials on on, on, on on Saturday. And if he had conducted that, it would have brought other areas with issues to less than uh, uh, thirty thousand. And I was already leading with thirty at one thousand plus. But then he kept that a whole word and was adding council vote and, uh, and, 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 and other areas where there was over voting so that he can, he can, it can guide him to see where it will lead him to, 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 to uh, I mean, uh, declare the election inconclusive. And it was even known on Sunday that he is, he is working towards declaring the election inconclusive probably to, 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 to convince the woman for whatever he has collected. Let him come out and deny. Well, again, we have to state, uh, Governor, except you have proof, overwhelming proof against it. It's still your word against uh, his or, or the Residence Electoral Commission. I have, the... I have just stated, I have just stated, and you had it that day from, your, you, from your reporter. Do you have immutable proof was, that money was exchanged? He, he was, uh, that he was caught, there was some sort of incentive did he, given? Did he deny the other one he was caught on tape? No, no, I'm asking about the partic this particular claim you made. Do you have the well, evidence? The woman was in his house. Did he deny the, that the woman was not in his house? No, no, you talked about whatever he has collected, and that's suggesting yes. that he probably got inducement. So I'm asking that do you have evidence of that? Do I have to place the evidence on the table here? No, no, it's just, to, it's just to admit, if you, if you have, because it's important to also place it so that it will not hopefully taint the whole process, because a lot of all, people have all, referred... All, 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 all we are saying is his integrity is in question. Right. And for the kind of reputation INA has built in this election, particularly in 2019, the man should be withdrawn from Adama. So help Nigerians understand what is different this time around. Because we saw what played out during the presidential election. Your party, your presidential candidate had over 400,000 votes, uh, that's for the PDP, compared uh, to the 182,881 votes uh, of the APC. That margin is quite huge. So, I mean, if it happened that time that your candidate overwhelmingly won, what is different this time around? Why do you have reasons to then doubt? Uh, I mean, if it didn't happen then, why should it happen now? The attitude of the, like, the election has become local. But it's Probably the same wreck, so. right, Your Excellency? Yes. The same Probably, officials? Yeah, the same officials. But he was heading. Nobody is questioning the other officials. He, he, the wreck, the head. Probably the, some of the presidential uh, candidates couldn't reach him. That is why he couldn't exhibit some of his characters in that election. Well, Your Excellency, if you have... Uh proof of all of these allegations uh, you have made against the wreck. Have you formally petitioned INEC about him? I, the, I think the party has done that. And uh, has INEC uh, replied formally or informally to your petition, to your party's petition? They, they have not because they have not fixed a date for their own election. No, about have, this, about this wreck, not about you know uh, the rerun election. About this wreck, uh, I imagine we'll only, you, we'll, you would, we'll it would not go not, down well we'll, with your party based on all these allegations for him we'll to only, be the re, uh, we'll, resident electoral commissioner yet again for the rerun election. We we'll only know the position of INEC after they have fixed uh, uh, the date for the rerun, whether he will come back and continue. Now, without discountenancing the issues, uh, Your Excellency, did you imagine or expect that uh, Senator Binani of the APC would give you such a run for the money in the governorship election? Because she got about 390 votes, uh, you know, pronounced, even though the election it's, is inconclusive. It's election. Nothing is unexpected. So I've planned for it. But I've planned to win. Because I know I have the large followership. Whatever scheming and other things that must have happened in between, uh, still it didn't make any difference. A win is a win. So is your plan, or was your plan uh, also 
uh, dropping your former uh, deputy governorship uh, uh, candidate, who was former deputy governor, and picking a female running mate this time around? This is just my political strategy. It has nothing to do with Benin. Absolutely nothing. You're sure of that, not, Your Excellency? Not, nothing. I just wanted to have a gender balance. All right. If you say that, so we'll have to take your word for it. But um, would you say that Senator Binani, with this quantum of votes, has been able to break through uh, much of the gender bias that uh, was, she was expected to be up against in the election, particularly in the northern part of the country? Well, it is a step forward uh, in terms of acceptability of women uh, into leadership uh, in, the, in, 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 in the northern Nigeria, like you suggested. But again, the, the, the party has also held. The party is broad-based, is large. They have just been assumed to have won uh, a presidential election. So that has given them an age. And... Uh, it has really uh, changed the mindset of the people uh, when they went out to vote on the 18th. Uh, you said you're not new to this whole process, and um, I, I imagine I'm, that... I'm not new. Right. Um, and and I, I know that this is very important to you and to your party, because there's, there's lots happening, and especially the PDP would really do with an extra state, seeing how it performed uh, when you weigh uh, the governorship elections across board in the 28 states. So this is a big one for your party. And you said you've planned to win. A lot of people ask, uh, I mean, is winning the only option for you? Because elections are two ways. You either win or you lose. So uh, what happens if, if you lose? Are you preparing for that as well? How will I lose when I'm already leading? Well, ultimately, the with, people will with, vote, except with, you have with, other plans. With, with, with 37,000 to determine the winner, already she's on ground zero. I'm on 31,300 and something votes. So you're confident of winning, even though you might swing both ways? Perfect. Uh, I so, need less than 3,000 out of the 37,000 to win the election. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll see in the coming days. But uh, speak to this, because, uh, I mean, governance is beyond bragging rights, winning the bragging rights. I imagine that you have something else you want to achieve with the second term you're bidding for. So let's take this opportunity and, and speak to that, uh, particularly for the people of Adamawa State in terms of, uh, you know, the economy, in terms of security unemployment. What is your plan for this second term? Because some are even of the opinion that one term is enough uh, for governors to prove their worth and then, uh, you know, just leave it for another person. So what's your plan? Why is this really important for you? I think I've done extremely excellent in all facets of uh, the departments of governors in other state. Talking from security to education, agriculture, housing, uh, human and capital development, uh, uh, which was captured on our one point agenda. I think everybody have attested to the fact that uh, in the history of both Mongolia and, and Adama, I think none has performed like this government in the last four years. So, and I think we, we intend to continue on that trajectory and even making it better because we are out to make Adama bread. Could just uh, uh, as we wind down on this, Your Excellency, now that uh, the elections, I mean, there's going to be a rerun, as you say, what are your expectations for that? Uh, expecting to get the support of our people uh, to give us the winning vote. Hmm. But if, looking through some of the results that are there already, uh, the Northern Zone, your stronghold, I was told that uh, she appeared to have made inroads of those five local governments, Mubi North, Mubi South, Mahe. What do you think was responsible for that? Uh, for now, I have not conducted the post-mortem, but I will do that after the election. But I've also had an inroads into her, 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 her zone, which is the central zone. I want Hong, I want Gombe, I want Song, I want... 
Gire, and I gave her room for her money in her own local government and her mother's local government. Well, I, I thought the key word there would have been democracy. <laughs> <laughs> democracy is at play. I mean, if candidates make inroads into each other's stronghold, it means that the people have a choice and they should be able to pick uh, who it is that they decide and they should be fr able to freely choose, um, you know, whoever it is that they want at the end of the day. But I just want and to that, know what, what you want. What exact, that is exactly what happened on Saturday 18th. Okay, so what I want to know is what you're looking to see um, of the conducts, because right now you are taking very strong issue with the resident electoral commissioner. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to ask you what you would like INEC to put in place so that whatever results emerge at the end of the day will be acceptable to you and to um, Madam Binani. INEC as an institution is not in doubt. The character of the wreck is in doubt. All the, all the requirements to make the election smooth on Saturday was put in place. Everywhere the beavers was working perfectly. They, they, as they were collecting manually, so also they were transmitting uh, the result to RF simultaneously. Everything on that day was working. So, and I believe if Anik maintains that, uh, 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 we will be competing, I think, even with the first one in terms of uh, conduct of election. And that was what was missing in the presidential election. I think they made a lot of, a lot of tremendous improvement in the last election. But some, some characters that are working and are within the INEC needs to be changed. All right, uh, Your Excellency Amadou Fintiri, Governor of Adamawa State and the candidate, governorship candidate of the PDP in the elections. Thank you for talking to us this morning and all the best to you. Thank you. All right, then. So we will be back in just a moment. Stay with us.